All right then, ready to get started. Game number one on Bedrock. Delon stepping up to the plate with Anders in the blue and over in the red, we have El Hechi Zero opening up with Chopper as Decimus. Hechi known for that spam, spam, spam. We will be seeing a lot of grunts, a lot of jump uppers this game. And that Boundless Siphon is just going to help him a lot. Should be getting aggressive with the chopper. Chopper under attack from enemy troops! I want to see plenty of ass kicking out there! Hey, watch it! Chopper under assault from enemy troops! Harvester constructed. Dylan gonna sacrifice his marine just to get as much power as possible. Looks like he did open up a triple harvester as well. Doesn't want to be losing a mini base. He did get this power. Marine goes down. Uh, if Etch is quick enough, he will send the chopper this way and he will take down that marine as well. Yeah, two marines gone already for the launch. Bad start, it's not what you want to see. Armory constructed. Generator upgrade complete. She picking up his many bases now. He has double gen up already. Sat around. And for his nerd. Delon already taking his. Barn on the way out. Supply pad constructed. As the first power node picked up, we're going to be seeing a barracks from Delon as he pushes down the middle. First node for Hetchy. First raid camp up for Hetchy. But he normally built more raid camps than that. It feels like it when you're playing against him, but it's going to get scouted. We got Flame is actually coming down this left flank. Chopper's gonna head over there. There's two power nodes get picked up for both players. Slam comes in, they're gonna catch three grunts. How did you decide to fight this? I'm surprised he slammed that instead of the marine taking his power nerd. He could have denied that a little longer. The enemy has captured our power node. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. Chopper gonna be coming out. Push on the back. Second gen now coming up for Delon. And there's gonna be a turret onto the man as he takes it of a power node. He's gonna have grunt mine, it's not gonna be a great push. He did have grunt mine. Nice, a couple of choppers in the middle for King Hatch. Spawns on the way over though. 
Gonna be jumping on top of one. Gets the nice slam on two of them there. Gonna be able to pick off both of them. Cancels the hijack. Oh, a very weak chopper. He's he's trying to min it. It's interesting. Vortex is going to be used onto the turret, but all of his army isn't here, and that turret's going to survive. Oh, we have the Sui drop coming down for the units. Oh, I'm not watching. The Flamer will die. More choppers going to fall to the Spartan in the middle. Expansion now getting picked up for Hetchy. Another power nerd for Dewan as well. And the Spartan's going to come back and defend. The jump pad route made it all the way across the map. Great slam there by the Spartan, catching all of the units. We'll be able to defend this push. I built, rebuilt the armory. Oh, he is getting tech two. It wasn't showing, I just thought, he has 800 power. He surely can't be getting tech two yet, but he's in tech two. He's getting an upgraded Spartan. And he did have 800 power as well. Hetchy can now go tech 2 as well. But these power nerds paying off dividends for Delon. Actually cancels the the garage there. He's going to be putting another barracks down and Dispersion Nozzle will be coming out for him. Rocket launcher researched. Looking rough for Hetchy. One upgraded Spartan, Dispersion Nozzles. Kind of shuts down everything he's looking to do. Gets his expansion up. Graded. Citadel upgrade complete. Probably gonna be getting dark skies in a second. There it is. We got Vet 1, Douglas in the middle. Running down all these units that dare run through the mill. Expansion getting picked up for Delon now. He's holding on to two leader points. We'll be seeing Grenade Fur come out as well. So, infantry focus player. Boundless Siphon comes in for Hetchy. Will help him a little bit. Big old push to the man. There is two jump pad brutes here. He needs to at least kill a Jen or something. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it though. Spezian are absolutely shredding these grunt. He's slaughtering the push is just gone. He does take out the mini though. Turret constructed. Slight of hand distraction on the main while he takes down the mini base. That's not scouted the expansion, otherwise I'm sure they would be jump pack brutes over there. Fair generator coming up for help Hetchy to help support his manic pushes. Needs these nerds back there. Elon's sitting on so much money right now. See, it's not just me, everybody flirts money. <laughs> 1700 blue. Jump roots under attack from enemy troops. Combat mechanics researched. What is your command? All right, he has combat oh, tech. Another mini falls. Attack. Checking for the expansion. You might need to get some sewers out of here in a second. We're under fire. The flamers scout it. Push up onto the main. There is a four turrets here. Mine's going down. Got the vortex on the turret, just with the one jump pack brute. Gonna be stunning the flamer there as well. This guy's spazzing out. Definitely looks like he's saving up for the Super Sentinel now. We're under attack from ground troops. Our base is under 
400 power to go and this game should be pretty much over Got too much money Even if he loses these pads the super sentinel is just gonna kill all of this The push is unfortunately a little too late for Hatch. Our base is under attack. Our allies are in Yeah, I guess drop right at the back here, right on the main. Supply pad constructed. Supply pad constructed. Nothing you can do to hold this. It's too late with the Reavers. Our base is under attack. No shield. No anti air turrets. Got that one Spartan defending along with all the turrets. A couple of pad losses won't matter. I'm getting shot at by ground troops. Sewage drop coming down. The main has been stripped and it's now getting main down as well. It's just one reaver. I mean, one reaver and it, two reavers. The reaver's not going in the right direction. He has to save this somehow. That sentinel will shred through two reavers, no doubt. It's all good using the Vortex, but you should have used it when all the Reavers were here. And Vet 2, Douglas as well. Base is going to go down. Yeah, he should have used the Vortex when all these Reavers were here. He might have been able to kill it then. That base is going, 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 gone. And Hedge is broke. Lost all his bases, has no money to buy a new one. Our base is under Did a lot on the main of Delon, but it doesn't really matter too much. It was too late, he could already buy the Sentinel. Our base is under attack. Under fire from enemy ground forces. Well, you always have to finish Hetchy off. Because he will not go down without a fight. They say, like, if he'd have saved that Vortex for when all five of these Reavers were in range, he could have probably killed it, and he'd actually be in a lot better position than he was now, because he would have saved that expansion. But the Sentinel is the the key for the one here. He now has the Vet 2 as well. Outside of that, he, he doesn't have a large income. So it would have been difficult for him as well. 
Game would have still made it a little. There it is. Oh my god. They, they actually get shredded by it. Look at that. Holy crap. He actually fucks those Reavers. And I'll make that go down. Nah, look at that. Now he has the Vortex. Look how much damage he did to it without the Vortex. Imagine if he just waited for the Vortex both times. He could have killed that Sentinel. It'd have been a completely different game. But the lawn gonna go 1 0 up in this. A long way to go.